Don't ever underestimate the power of the black box. The black box is an image. It's also an egregore. Each one is a black box, as I said before. Therefore, when your black box is weaker and easy to open to get the cable and everything else, by the wheel, by the channel of light, people will hate you. Not because you are with the light, but because you are not anymore with the black box, with the darkness. And your black box being very easy to open, very small and discreet, this discretion will be an insult to every black box that most of the time is very strong, a safety black box. A safety, you will feel safe with this horrible safety black box. But at the, at the same time, it is your jail. So when you meet somebody who has a light black box, who is not anymore captured by the the the, the reputation, by the renommé, by the, the, the gossiping, by by the fears, by the money, by this person will be an insult to your safety black box and you will be ready to kill him. It's the essence of an egregore. So it means that the more you work on your black box, that you make it weaker and weaker, that you clean it so that you can open it whenever you want, the more you will have to face your own shit and you will have to face the shit of the others who will hate you for what you have been doing in your existence by making your black box uh, weaker and weaker and weaker. And I know that it is something terrible because in my own life, I am sentenced to be just alone on this planet. Not with the light. With the light, I'm always fine. But I am also a human being. I have a physical body. I need love. I need trust. I need respect. I need commitment with the others. As long as I have a physical body. And have nothing of that. Because my freedom, my very tiny black box, is a huge insult to all the others, black boxes. And they hate me for that. So it means that you have to fight your black box. And when you start to win on your black box, you have all the other black boxes that are coming in reinforcement to help your black box. So that you fall back into frustration, loneliness, sadness, rejection that will make again your black box stronger that will have to fight again and again so that you never give up your way to open your channel of light to be one with this cosmic light the fact that until now i gave this book to about 1000 people and that only one person reached the fifth chapter and nothing above and on the third chapter, something like five or six people on 1,000 at the beginning shows you clearly on the scientific statistics the power of the black box. Oh, people are very talented to dream about the cosmic light. But they don't want to meet the cosmic light because meeting the cosmic light would mean to destroy this black box more and more and also to teach to this black box the honesty the reality of the face of god that is not at all a face or not at all as you want to project because the projection of what you want to believe when i speak about the face of god is the the, the essence itself of your black box so now yes i will present to you what's happening afterwards, at least some little stuff. And we'll see that the speech is always to go towards the, this union with, um, with uh, the, this cosmic light and the union with anyone who is more or less with this, um, this cosmic light. Because with the essence of this cosmic light, then we can be a brotherhood of peace. Because each of you, you have your own experience with this light. 
each of you. Personally. You will never know what is the sex if I tell you. You must have your adventure. It's the same with the light, but it's a love that is millions of times stronger. More beautiful, more intense. But each second of this intensity with a partner or with a cosmic light or with anyone who really loves you that you really love is the real experience of this light. And this is each second that will make also your box weaker. This is what you become, what you are, and what you're going to be for eternity. This is what you are going to bring with you for your next reincarnation, if you can have experience of this intensity, of this level. Very often we don't understand the love with a partner and because we suffer a lot and we're deeply hurt and frustrated, this is why very often we reincarnate again and again and again, repeating the same problems again and again about love. Because love and hate, they go together because we mix the essence of this black box where dwells the hatred and the essence of this cosmic light where dwells the love. It is subtle, very subtle. Don't ever forget, once you have opened your black box, your dark ego, at least from time to time you can take the cable out and stretch it to the plug to get the electricity and the internet. Once you leave your beliefs, fears and darkness, you can really open a channel of light that will put you in contact with something that no one can explain. I can give you some manifestations, but it is so fantastic, so marvelous, so intense, an access to a knowledge, to a power, to a love, to an eternity that we cannot explain. We can give you some pictures some little explanations. This is what I'm going to give you now. Some messages recorded in the past, some stuff that have been directly recorded, so you'll have some impressive shows. But at the same time, don't be impressed. Okay, they're impressive because they are recorded in one way or another, and you're going to say, oh my God, that's exactly what I want. Yes, but you don't go to the light because you go to the light. You go to the light because you destroy the black box of your dark ego. The direction to the light, I know is paradoxical, is to fetch, is to go and check each layer of your darkness. That is the essence of the dark box. So that you reach from time to time and more and more regularly the light, the essence of of what you really are and you are on earth only for that and nothing else than this don't forget the light the cosmic energy the cosmic love is everywhere around you and in spite of this you're alone or even worse you are inside the black box and in the black box to occupy you there's a little light it's a complete illusion. It's just to make you believe that you know what it is. But it is just an illusion of the essence of the black box. The cosmic love, the cosmic wisdom, the cosmic knowledge, the cosmic brotherhood is everywhere in you, around you, everywhere. And in spite of this, we live alone and we suffer. So here's an example about a message of the 14th of April 1990. So I have been living with this for about 30 years because 1990 it was not the beginning. It was a little bit before. So of course with the time I understood a lot of traps and so on. Mille neuf cent quatre-vingt-dix. 
Ce n'est pas par hasard si aujourd'hui tu as lu cette pensée de Maître Mra. Sur la mare, il était tard. It's not at random if today you have been reading this thought from Omra Mikhailaifanov about the pond and the tetras. Ne te soucie pas de la pensée des tetras. Don't worry about the thought of the tetras. Mais sois capable d'être une source. But be able to be a fountain, a spring. Même si tu es seul. A source, even if you are alone. Pourquoi ai-je tant d'attirance envers Frédéric ou Yannick? Why do you have so much attraction towards Frederick or Yannick? And these people were very special people that had a very strong opening to the light in the real way, with a very weak, dark box, even if they had. But they were very, very often with the light. Il y a le désir de briller. There is the desire to shine. So you see, here it's a little teaching for my dark box. Parce que tu sais qu'ils savent ou peuvent croire, mais... Because you know that they know or that they can believe. It's about everything that I was living with a um, magical world, with the invisible light word, world. Il n'y a pas que ça. But there is not only that. Il y a l'égrégore. There is the égrégore. Il plane au-dessus de vous. It is, it is planning above your head, the egregore of the peace. Et il y aura gens et and there are other people and even more. C'est une, une nouvelle qui vibre plus vite. It's a new brotherhood above that is vibrating um, quicker than the rest. Il y a dans cet égrégore une énergie bouillonnante. There is a boiling energy in this égrégore. Et votre rôle à vous, vous autres, est de manifester cette énergie sur Terre. And your duty to all of you is to manifest this energy on Earth. It's your destiny to be angels on this planet. On Earth. So here we can understand and discover that we are invited to be attracted to each other when there is this intensity of light, this deep communication more or less regularly with this cosmic entity, this cosmic intelligence. And also to be between each other because we are always helping to learn and to motivate each other to be with this light. And here again in this message we can see that there's a clear classification, I would say, or judgment, whatever you want to call it, how you want to call it, between the people who are just tetras, like babies of frogs, you know, of toads, and um, this brotherhood of people who are with the light. And for you, you're going to say, oh my God, we are all equal and we shouldn't speak like this. But the light is able to know when somebody is with the light and when somebody is not with the light, doesn't want to be with the light, or is pretending to be with the light, which is even worse. And there's a clear difference in the essence of the cosmic light. The 15th of April, 1990. There was another girl called Beatrice that I met as well. And I didn't like at all her personality, really. And at the same time, I knew and I could see that she was in contact with the light. But there was no contact between both of us. I didn't like her style and so on. And um, um, it was weird to me because I was thinking she should be really part of this brotherhood, of this egregore of peace and love. And at the same time, it's not working with her. So that's my question about uh, Beatrice with uh, an angel, an entity. 
Pourquoi est-ce que j'aime moins Béatrice My question, why do I like less Béatrice Ne juge pas, c'est vérité. Answer, don't judge with a s severity. And there you have to understand, we have to know where everybody stands regarding the level of evolution with the light. But we shouldn't believe in the appearances because they are just two dark boxes that are not able to connect to each other. They shouldn't try to connect between each other. They should be directly in contact with the soul. Beatrice n'est pas... Beatrice is not... And there, there's a long silence in this message. And there you have to understand what happened. Suddenly, my guide gave me the power to look at Beatrice as a entity being with the light. Not with her appearances or style, but with what she is. With what, what she is with the light. And suddenly... In some seconds, she became my sister and I was completely also in love with her. So that is not something that we can directly translate with words, even if I, if I did it a little bit, but it gives you a little idea. When the light is talking to you, they can talk through words, but much more. D'un seul coup, je ressens la même grande affection envers Béatrice qu'envers les autres. Suddenly, so that's what is explained here, I feel the same love uh, towards Béatrice than to the others that we spoke before about. Je ressens son amour. I, I feel her love. Ne te laisse pas prendre au piège la personnalité. Don't get trapped. Don't get caught in the trap of the personality. It's a trap. Ne te laisse pas guider par des paroles, des attitudes. Don't fall into the, the, the appearances of the behavior or movements. Regarde ses yeux. Look at her eyes. Son rayonnement. Look at her radiation. Look at her love. Seul coup, Suddenly, I love the love that is in Beatrice. Elle fait partie du même égrégore. She's part of the same égrégore, and I know it. Okay, and that, this simple message that was quick to explain like this, but that is an intense experience, is meeting a, a soul to the level of the soul, to the level of this channel of light, to this level of where we meet the connection between Um, her existence, physical existence, the, the dark box, the black box, and the, the existence of the cosmic intelligence. Just that the connection is the soul, the channel of light. This is what I meet, and when I meet that, you can only love immensely. Le 15 avril. Okay, now... Lundi 23 avril 1990. Monday, 23rd of April 1990. Quand est-ce que mes portes s'ouvriront? When shall I, uh, no, when do I get my doors open? When is it going to happen? Écoute. Listen. Il faut moins penser et rayonner davantage. You have to think less and to shine more. Et alors, la force de l'amour Then, the power of the love va tout fondre comme la glace qui fond au soleil. Will melt everything as the ice is melting to the sun. Une réflexion sur le lever de soleil. Then came a commentary about the sunrise that I was doing before this, uh, this uh, uh, message. Il faut ressentir le soleil dans ton plexus. You have to, to feel the, the sun in your solar plexus. Laissez ton corps entier transpercer. Let your complete body being uh, going through, um, going, the light going through your complete body. Lavé par la lumière. Washed by the light. Ne cherche ni le mérite. Don't check, don't look for the merit. 
ni la reconnaissance des gens. Don't look for the recognition of people, for the, the appreciation of people. Mais seulement la joie d'être dans la lumière. But only the joy of being in the light. Car cette joie est la lumière même. Because for this joy is the light itself. And again, this message is, is uh, a teaching, a really a teaching, a path to go to the light. So you're going to say, but E.G., you, you said that we have to learn, first of all, to open the dark box. Yes, you have to open the dark box. But even when you start to be in contact with the light, the light cannot teach you from the very beginning some fantastic secrets. They start to stimulate in you even more connection and intimacy with this cosmic light and love. So, as well, to understand from the message you heard before, the, the first one about the pond and about the, the spring, the source, um, about the water that is the representation of the love, the pond is, uh, is uh, water that is dirty, that is... Uh, full of pollution, full of a lot of shit and toads and so on. The, the source, the, the fountain, the, the spring, is the water that is absolutely pure, that everybody can, clean, that can drink because it's completely clean and it's pure love. That is um, um, a, a power to drink and to... to to, to help anyone who feels thirsty, who feels thirsty. It's a, it's a liquid that is giving the life and protecting the life. So as I explained before, all of this is guiding people to the heat, the intensity, the radiance, the love, the trust, the, 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 wa the pure water, that is uh, giving uh, uh, liquid to everyone, all this manifestation of love and intensity that is allowing every of us, part of this egregore connected with the light, to be an example on this planet. So again, we're not talking about people who are meditating for hours, even if we do as well. But that has this, um, everyone has this manifestation of intensity, of generosity, of honesty, and everything else. Tuesday, the 24th of April, 1990. How can I do to get rid of this contradiction? That I have in my solar plexus. It is not by practicing physically that you will get that you will get rid of this. So that is um, a first part of the answer. That is very important because I always worked a lot, a lot with my body, practicing, training all the time. But at the same time, at one point. Um, there are some special stuff that you have to do even on a higher level. First of all, you transcend your physical body, your muscles, your will. And then you reach a higher level where you have to clean other stuff. I insist on this because everybody is going to sit down and to meditate, to transcend. I don't know what they want to transcend, but they don't yet have the electricity with the will that you develop through your body, your physical body. Les exercices que tu fais sont bons. The exercises, talking about the physical exercises, uh, are good. The exercises that you do are good. Mais c'est par les sentiments que ton plexus s'ouvrira. But it is by the feelings that your solar plexus will open, will get opened. Lorsque tu seras capable d'avoir envie d'embrasser tout le monde. When you are able to feel like hugging everybody. Et toute manifestation autour de toi. And any kind of manifestation around you, de les dans tes bras et de les toi. to hug them, et que bien sûr, tu ne le faire. and that um, on the material plan you will not be able to do it, of course, 
Alors il faudra être capable de le faire avec un plexus. Then you will have to be able to do it with your solar plexus. Et il s'ouvrira et une grande force pénétrera. And then your solar plexus will get open and a fantastic force will appear. Comment faire pour purifier et nettoyer mon canal? How can I do to, to clean and to purify my channel? So here we are really talking about the channel I've always been talking about. Because even when you stretch this antenna, this cable, at the beginning, because you have less intimacy and connection with the light, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's less good. So it's always an effort of concentration, of stretching your channel, of being strong, of being clean, of intense concentration, intense will and everything else. I don't want to get any parasites, any bad interpretations. Il faut être sans arrêt béni dans la lumière. You have to be always swimming in the light, existing in the light. Avec joie, avec délice. With joy, with delight. Avec amour. With love. Sans, a, sans arrêt dans cette lumière qui purifie. To be always in this light that is purifying everything. Quand tu marches, quand tu respires. When you walk. When you breathe, when you move, in, in every action, purify yourself by the intensity of this light. And then I ask, but can I have special exercises? There is, of course, the breathing, the work with the water, without fanaticism, waterfalls, the soil, the sky, the stars, the fire, every element. Once from time to time you go to the forest, you swim in this light, you exist in this light. And then you open your mouth and you exhale with intensity everything dark from your body, from your thoughts from everything that is that is limiting you. Here, um, the entity is really talking about this uh, dark box, everything that I believe, everything that I fear. And in spite of being a samurai, it took me years to clean everything and to be pure with the light, as much as I can be, at least. Each step that you do to in the light, towards the light, will approach you from myself. And it will be a time where we will not be able anymore to translate by words. You will be able only to live and to feel this existence with the light. And this is why I take the messages from the past because at that time I had explanations. It was about 30 years ago. But with the time, you become one with this light. Not always, as I said, because the dark box is always uh, waiting for a possibility to strike. But now I am with this light. And this one, I'm sorry to say that I speak about baboons or tetras as you want. Well, you see, finally, baboons is more... Uh, uh, I'm less strict, you see, than uh, the, the angels that are talking about tetras. Um, and at one point, um, you work all the time to be very often with uh, this light. And of course, you look at the society and you smile and say, poor baboons, poor little baboons. Est-ce que lorsque je monte vers toi, je me purifie do I purify myself when I walk, when I climb towards you? À chaque fois que tu fais un pas vers la lumière, Each time that you have a step towards the light, purifie, you purify yourself. Et tu de moi. And you are Ce approaching from This journey towards the light, or to the light, is a journey of joy and endless dilatation. Dilatation. It's without any kind of physical limits. 
It's a joy that is so intense that you cannot exprim, express it with words. And here again, you can see a complete education to intensify this link, to be one. In spite of working and always working on my dark box, on my ego, on my beliefs, on my fears, there's also an intense work to be attracted and to be in peace and normal with this light, to be one with this light, to be in love with this light, to feel and to, exp to express this intense love with this light. There was also a short message from the guides from the 25th of April as well, that was only, don't ever forget that nothing is due to you. You have to deserve your expansion to us because of your honest, pure humility. So here, it's really a sentence that is referring again to this ability to open your box, to stretch your cable, your channel of light, to be directly plugged to this cosmic energy that is everywhere around you, but is never in accessible without the channel. And the channel is not accessible without having the humility to look at the and to analyze your dark box. The 26th of April 1990, I'm asking a question about a person, a girl, who wants to have a lot of knowledge about the light. She says, she said, I want to know everything I want. But at the same time, she refused absolutely to know everything about her. So here, um, it's interesting because it's very old, of 30 years old. And at the same time, already at that time, it's exactly the same speech. That is to say, if you want to get interested in the light, you have to accept to clean yourself. You don't go in front of a king dressed like a, like a, a Trump. You make an effort. You, you, you have to be acceptable because you are going to meet some very high people. When you go to the light, you have to do the same. So here uh, they are talking about this uh, lady who wanted to know a lot. And um, they say, listen, the answer. So I ask about this girl. And they say, listen, this girl doesn't want to get really interested in the light. She wants her, she wants you to get interested in her, which is very often a protocol with the spirituality and with the light. Instead of being a path of humility, it's a path of arrogance and power. And with the angels, with the guides, believe me, it's very strict. They see very clearly. So as soon as you use this path to play the power, they say no. Alors, il faut she has to learn to change. She has to pray, to meditate. Lise, she has um, to read and to, um, to assimilate a knowledge of wisdom, of understanding. So there they are clearly talking about the personality, the dark box, to open the box. Il faut la volonté, sorte sans she has to learn the will, to develop the will, that she goes out of her house without fear, because she was always afraid to go out. Par she has to hide by herself towards the others, to help, to give. Always in the light and under the protection of the Holy One. Alors, des portes, des portes Then doors will get open elle, in her. And then you can help her to step these uh, doors, these gates. Alors, tu But only there you can help. Before that, there's nothing you can do. She has to evolve by herself, directly, with herself, within herself. It's a long work for her. She has to open herself to the light, par la by the action, la by the will, by the meditation, Lecture. by the uh, learning 
knowledge about everything that she is as an ego, as a dark box. Et à ne avoir peur dans la And she has to learn never to be afraid in the light, that she is always calling to be surrounded by the light, in the actions, in the commitment, in the purification. So it's really a complete guidance to train, like when you enter a monastery. And that's, again, a lie of this society. You practice um, Surya Yoga. I gave a complete teaching of real Surya Yoga in the book. And um, the Surya Yoga, or oh, the no, no, Kundalini Yoga, I gave a real lesson of complete Kundalini Yoga, how to develop really your Kundalini Yoga. But that goes through commitment, love, everything. In the Kundalini Yoga, we learn that the third chakra is linked to the truth and not to the lies of this society. And the truth is to be able to see everyone as a being of light. And you're going to say, E.G., you call everybody baboon. Yes, you are baboon in your psychology, but you are a divine essence. All of you, you, you possess this power of the channel of light to go back to where you come from, to your cosmic father, to be yourself a Christ. But you have to break to understand this dark box so that you stop being an arrogant baboon. Then I ask a question about myself. Why am I so nervous? And you see, when you speak with the, the light, You don't lie. You speak openly about everything. En travaillant avec les couleurs, avec les chakras, tu provoques de grands mouvements énergétiques en toi. By working with the colors um, and with the chakras, you provoque a lot of big transformations within yourself. Control ta joie. Control your joy. Ton énergie. Control your energy. Le travail que tu veux faire est très fort, très puissant. The work that you want to do is very powerful, very intense. And you must work with the same intensity, the purity. And here, you can see that we are radically changing the style of the speech because now they are talking to somebody who is working intensely on each aspect of his existence, against the darkness and with the light. Ainsi, ton canal deviendra très clair. By doing so, your channel will become absolutely crystal clear. C'est le travail. That is the work. That is the work. How can they be more clear? Clearer. It's, it's clear. Um, there are things that are always hidden to the public with the new age and so on. You sit down, you repeat a stupid mantra and everything is done. No, of course, you are divine essence. You have the essence of the Christ to receive the essence of the cosmic energy in you. But for that, you have to clean everything, to clean what you are and to develop your will, your intensity, to open this channel of light that is coming from you to the sky. And then the light will come down through this channel to you. But you have to start by being free in your psychology. So um, you can see that all the time it is an intensity of work, of transformation, and of course at one point you are radically different. Of course you, you are like an elf or like an alien on the planet because you are so different, indeed so different because you exist and you evolve in something that is radically different. So you are never alone with the light, but you are more and more alone with the humans because there are less and less people who are with the light, especially with um, um, the 2012. Since this date, there was completely a complete crash down of the, this egregore of peace and love of humans. There I spoke also about the karma where the, uh, the, um, the, the guides explained 
uh, so I give the, the quick sum up that the karma is a law to help the others. When I have a karma with somebody, um, for instance, I had a karma of violence. It is not that I should be non-violent of my lifetime. Well, I should be, but if I have to use the physical power to help somebody, I shouldn't hesitate. But it is more than if I really have a karma with the violence, I have to to help somebody who is suffering from the physical pain, from the physical uh, violence of somebody else. So by definition, the karma is the law of action, of generosity. I can help somebody so that I clean a little bit my karma about a topic where I acted negatively in another life. So it's a law of action and generosity. And in the New Age, it became a law of selfishness. I do nothing and I will not help you because it is your karma. At that time, I spoke a little bit about this, where the guides talked to me about, uh, about this generosity and this sharing. And also, when I said, isn't it cheating, uh, if I am here, for instance, to use a magnetizer or someone who can help me to heal, because maybe I had to learn something in my illness. So first of all, they said no. And they spoke more or less about um, this point of view about the magnetizers, which is, I find very interesting. These people are existing by the, uh, the, the, the power of the divine plan. Ce sont des portes, des raccourcis. They are doors, short cuts. Mais il ne faut jamais fainéanter après un raccourci. But you mustn't ever be lazy after a shortcut. C'est une... C'est au contraire pour aller plus vite et plus loin. It's quite the opposite. The shortcut is here, organized for you and the others, to go quicker and more intensely. Ne faillis jamais dans ta ferveur. Don't ever get weaker in your commitment, in your excitement. Cette maladie aussi est un moteur. En changeant d'étape, tu dois aller encore plus vite, plus intensément. An illness can be also a motivation. And by changing into what you have to become, you will go quicker and higher. A planet that is turning around the sun turns quicker and quicker when it is approaching from the sun. And is getting closer and closer in a always speeding up process. The planet is attracted by this mass and this heat that is the sun, that the sun is. Until the planet itself becomes the sun, becomes part of the sun and is burning. And is burned by the intensity of the sun. What seems to be the end of a thing in matter is only the beginning of a thing much higher in a subtle plan with an endless intensity. Don't be afraid. It's the dilatation. It is the work. And here, again, you can see the presentation already 30 years ago, basically, about things that I explained today. That is to say, the fact that at one point, when you have finished your complete transformation, then you have to stop on this plan of existence. But you go on a higher plan of existence that is much better. Therefore, Anyone who, by definition, is on this plan of existence has still a dark box that can be very discreet, but is still there in some cases, can be very present for a little while at least. It doesn't change the quality of the intensity of the light that is always 100% only light, love and wisdom. It's also interesting to know that after so many years of practice and transformation, People are saying two things about me. Very often they say, I think that E.G. is homosexual because I'm very feminine, very delicate, very subtle. And they also say that I am the reincarnation of Terminator 
because I'm very strong, very powerful, and nothing can stop me. And for most of the people, we are going to believe that it's like a contradiction, but it is not. And here we have a message that I received after doing um, a, a transfer of energy between a tree and myself. It's a special exercise with a special protocol to be directly in contact, sort of channeling. Instead of being with a person, it's also with a tree. And with the surrounding of the tree, with the memory of the tree, and then after that directly with the light, with the angels, with the guide. And then there's a message coming. It's on a huge tree. Listen. Don't be afraid that I abandon you. I will never do. You will go on growing up, getting bigger and larger, like this tree, that until its end of its life um, will go on growing up. You will grow up. You will do like this tree. You will go on growing up, getting larger and stronger. That years after year after year gets capture more light, photosynthesis. And that is also able to perceive better the the wind, which means in the symbols also the energy, everything that is moving that is invisible. Even when for you there is no wind, the tree, the tree, in spite of being so big, is able on the smallest branches to perceive on the leaves a little bit of wind. So when you believe there is no wind, there are some small leaves up to the tree that are moving. At the same time, it's strong, its structure becomes stronger and thicker. In opposition with the small trees that need a lot of wind to perceive something, but can be broken to the first kick from anyone. So here again, a definition. We are really in a school of absolute transformation where you leave everything that is the essence of the of humanity, the essence of this black box, to speak about something much higher, radically, radically different. Here again, another message that is absolutely, strictly describing uh, what I explain today. So, you know, if I want to invent to invent what I want to invent, uh, I would be very stable to invent a stupidity that I expressed through this channeling 30 years ago, and I'm still expressing exactly the same idea, the same thing. Le 29th avril. Uh, Sunday, 25th of April, 1990. Listen, there is a, a sparkling in you that you that you may grow up every day and there's a flame an outside flame light that you let approach every day that you let that you let enter in you every day when the two flames when the two lights are uh, joining each other Il y a une lumière, une there's a big light there's a big dilatation le that is the work tu dans ce sens, bien. you work in this direction it's good Mais il faut de but is needed still a lot of work et et a lot of time and a lot of love utiliser la méditation du Vesak pour m'améliorer question from me. May I use the meditation of the Vesak 
to improve my, my uh, intensity. If you are in a deep serenity, a deep brotherhood, spirit of brotherhood, a lot of peace, Alors tu peux avec ce grand then you can harmonize yourself with this big um, stream of, of purity. Comme si tu du surf. It is as if we were practicing the surf Et que tu une très vague and que that you were waiting le... for a very big wave to go even higher. You can use this wave of spirituality to go even higher. So again, a guidance of intense practice, really like after doing a lot of fantastic stuff with your body, you go on with your body, but you do also with your energy, with your soul, with your heart, with your honesty. And you have no idea the joy it means, the love it means. And this is why I am so able to love so many people, to protect so many people. I have a fantastic source of intensity, of love, of light, of care, of